21 via knockout. Errol Spence Jr. fights out of Dallas, lives in DeSoto, a couple of weight classes. He said, everyone tells me this fight is too risky. That's why I wanted to do some sort of counter punch. But even if he doesn't, even if he wastes his first round moving to give it to Errol. But, uh, you know, this round, Robert wants Mikey to close the gap a little bit. So let's see what happens if he can put his hands on Errol Spence in this round. To his right, Errol Spence is left there. Just like that, he's making that little nice. Left jab by Errol. And here's Mikey moving forward, trying to pick his spot, showing him different angles, coming over with that left. Welterweight championship belt. Head movement and his uh, intelligence right now is serving him well. Again, nobody's there. Errol got a nice little body shot in, but nobody's really dominating the rounds yet. Looks like Errol wants to start pressuring a little harder, but right when he does, Mikey makes his slick moves and he throws him off track for a minute. Time down when he got when it was going on. Ooh. Oh. Errol came around with a good sweeping left left hook. That don't get reckless. Take him pose. All right, thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Heidi. That's Derek James. Errol too with it and is and he's scoring big. The long arms are posing a problem for Mikey. He's really having a hard time counter punching right now. And this is a problem. If he can't counter punch, he's going to be in for a long night or a short night. Final minute, round four. He's keeping his head really stiff right now. He needs to move it a little bit more. Body shot by Spence. Great round for Spence right now. He's been throwing that right left continuously. Right now. Back to Heidi Andro. Heidi. Thank you very much, Robert. We heard you say this is the round you need to go for. What do you want to see Mikey doing? I think Mikey could back him up. Look, like, just like he's doing right now. Fighting on the uh, on the outside of Spence is, is too too long and and and, and reach and uh jabs that's more than double the welterweight average. Well, go ahead. You yeah, this, you know, Mikey has to get a little closer, but there you see the long arms of Errol Spence Jr. throwing that roundhouse body punch. Little long, but he's still catching him. There's the one up the middle, and here's here's the last shot. Over with that left hand coming around Mikey's glove. There are knockout ratios. Errol Spence has the highest knockout ratio. Game, and then he gets back in and he'll start touching you again. And Mikey's known for that left hook. I haven't seen that left hook yet. And that's his, you know, that's his good punch. The left hook is hard to get off on a southpaw. You know, that works really well against right handers, but against southpaws, it's really hard, especially when you got a jet. I mean, score points that's not going to win him this fight it's too far gone already you know right but he needs to throw some punches at well, the beginning of this round guys. he's looking it seems like he's looking for that perfect punch that perfect punch is never going to be there yeah, he's right. got to throw punches to get that perfect punch at the beginning of this round our Felix the Jesus ninth round but and he's not landing well he's landing there right now very solid stuff oh left uppercut by oh. Spence Mikey's taking these punches on the chin. Yeah. And I don't know how many, how much of these punches he's going to be able to take. This is what happens when you step up. You know, these guys punch a lot heavier. But uh, this one is especially risky because you're in there with a, uh, with a machine in Errol Spence who really devastates most of his opponents, whether it's to the body or head, but eventually he wears you down and just thoroughly, you know, thrashes you. And he's sticking to the script right here. Spence putting on a clinic. He is. And it goes known for his body punches. Yeah, he is. And he just got hit with a couple of good uppercuts, uppercuts, uppercuts yeah. By, yeah, by Errol Spence. The thing is, is Mikey Garcia is too busy protecting himself to worry about throwing punches right now because he's just worrying about. So he's still capable of trying to counter. And I'm talking about Garcia. But Errol Spence is really turning up the heat right now. There's 20 seconds left.
I think Errol Spence just likes to box inside right now. He doesn't doesn't need well, to keep the fight from a distance. It has been Spence in control right from the start. Like he slipped a couple of big punches and you know. Eat, 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 eat. Here in Arlington. Mikey Garcia said Errol reminds me of me. <laughs> well, Spence just keeps coming, especially in this last round. He's he's trying to go for broke right here and and close the show. Well, he's got 25 seconds to 20. Two undefeated champions go the distance.